Hello everyone. There is a TED Talk titled The Danger of a Single Story by Shimamanda Adichie that I would suggest that you put on your list of talks to view. And the reason why I'm suggesting that you put it on your, your list of talks to view is because it's about the story of a personal story of a Nigerian woman, Shimamanda, when she makes the decision to leave Nigeria and move to the United States to attend college. And she arrives here at the United States and she has a college roommate and her college roommate is an American white female. And when the American female shows up, she notices that she has this African roommate. And all of a sudden, she in her mind creates this story of how she's going to experience Shimamanda. And Shimamanda talks about how, in fact, that the story that her roommate, the single story that she's using to define her, is the furthest thing from who she really is. And it got me thinking personally about how many times throughout the years that I have created a single story about myself and how that story, that story has, has, has evolved, of course, over the years, you know, in my mind, I was big brother. I was a uh, child. I was college student. I was a uh, frat boy. I was the buff man. I'm the black man that's smart and bright and all those stories that I've used over the years to create or define who I am. And at the time, I thought the stories worked, and they did work to a certain extent. But what I'm realizing is oftentimes, if I continue to allow myself to define myself based on a single story, it limits my possibilities. How many of you can relate to that? You know, there there's so many people that I encounter, not so many, that's a little much, there are people that I encounter that are proud of that single story. I am the committed mother. I am the devoted wife. I am the dutiful son. And those things are great and they're very necessary. But what happens in life, oftentimes, you know, I've noticed that, you know, that story that you've used to define yourself, at some point that story becomes obsolete. You know, the, the, the dedicated mom, eventually the children leave the house. The dutiful son all of a sudden is parentless. Uh, the, the studded buffed guy is longer, is no longer fit. And then, you know, when those things happen, most of us find ourselves in a situation where we're at a loss because that story no longer defines us. So I'm just here to encourage you to always be mindful that, and just to remind you that you're much more than the single story that you presently use to define yourself. So starting today, the call for action, of course there's a call for action for me, is to take the time to look at all the areas of who you are and create a self story that reflects all of you and not limits you. This is Myron McPhee Tucker. Be well and be blessed.